I did more for the black community than anybody with the possible exception of Abraham Lincoln. All men and women created by the go, you know the you know the thing. Is it any wonder that neither Joe Biden nor Donald Trump can crack 50% in approval ratings? They're cringe inducing to everyone except hardcore partisans. Why the hell would I take a test? Are, are you a junkie? What you, no religion, no anything. Hurt the Bible, hurt God. Which is why just 31% of Americans identify as Democrats and only 26% as Republicans. 41% say they're politically independent. The major parties are selling Americans on policy bundles that are utterly inane. If you want tax cuts, you have to vote against abortion, in favor of billions more in military spending, and against immigration. If you want to vote in favor of immigration, you have to also sign on to a $2 trillion Green New Deal, trapping children in failing school districts, and massive tax hikes. It's no surprise the typical American voter is looking more and more like Bridget Phetasy, a podcaster and comedian who has written The Battle Cry of the Politically Homeless and explained in a recent column why she won't be voting at all this fall. Her reasons? If Trump wins, America will burn. And if Trump loses, America will burn. The thing that drives me crazy is just the blatant lying. It's the same thing. And I'm at the point where I'm not even sure. Does does he know he's lying? I couldn't even listen to him speak. With Biden, I feel terror. You know, I feel like, oh, God, when's he going to lose his train of thought? And I feel like I can see that terror in his eyes when when all of a sudden he hits kind of a blank patch. Phetasy is typical of Americans in that she's socially liberal on many issues. I do believe it's empowering to be able to sleep with whomever you want. And conservative on others. I just like laugh at the fact that we're having conversations about like serious debates about whether girls and boys are different. And aware more generally of the limits of her own expertise. Then I just stopped and realized I knew absolutely nothing about guns. I didn't know how to load a gun, hold a gun. I didn't know any of our gun laws in California. I didn't, I knew nothing. And I was just spouting my mouth off as if I did. She's neither Republican red nor Democrat blue, but an alienated mix. Oh yeah, I'm totally a purple person. I really try to take everything on a case by case basis. She also hates how politics has become all about shutting down dialogue and dwelling on resentment. What I've seen on the left is just a complete inability to soothe the cognitive dissonance that happened when Trump won the election. And instead of accepting what is and moving forward and saying, how can we rebuild? What did we do wrong? They doubled down, they called even more people racist, lost more allies, alienated more people who should be allies in this and, and closed the tent even more. There's identity politics on the right as well, and there's a lot of grievance that I see. Unless Democrats and Republicans start speaking to people like Phetasy, their ranks will keep shrinking and they'll have to eke out narrow victories based on scaring voters with insane claims. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. If I don't win the election, China will own the United States. You're going to have to learn to speak Chinese. Politics needs the same diversity of offerings that the internet has brought to the media. Bridget! Hey! You're here! I came to make a citizen's arrest. What I'm hearing from people basically is that they're done with the mainstream media. So I don't know how much longer the mainstream media has because they behave like new media doesn't exist. They act like the internet doesn't exist. I see all of these things, even just my inbox with all of these thoughtful messages of why they migrated politically and what that story is, whether it's from red to blue or blue to red or independent. I would say I see a lot of potential and I see a lot of reasons to be hopeful. And there's so much conversation happening in the middle. There's, I I do believe, although we might have to choose or people feel they have to choose in this binary, that the center is not only holding, but kind of coalescing in, in weird ways that might not really be apparent until after this election.